Good morning, class. Welcome to our digital classroom. I am Ms. G, your grade 8 science teacher for first quarter physics. We are going to talk about heat and temperature, explaining hotness and coldness. But first, let us recall your lesson in grade 7. Remember that heat can be transferred through different modes. We have conduction, convection, or radiation, and that heat transfer either through moving particles or electromagnetic waves. Now that you are in grade 8, under force, motion, and energy, with the content standards, heat and temperature, and the effects of heat on the body, you are going to learn how to differentiate between heat and temperature at the molecular level. At the end of this lesson, you are going to learn how to distinguish the difference between the change in temperature of water and the amount of heat transferred. You will investigate the relationship between the change in temperature of water and the amount of heat transfer, and you will cite real-life applications of heat transfer in our daily lives. Let us play a game. I know that you are familiar with four picks and one word. You are going to guess the word being depicted by the given set of pictures. Let us move on with the first word. What do you think is being described by the four pictures here? It is conceived of four letters. You are correct. The answer is heat. Heat is the energy in transit. It is the energy that transfers between places or objects due to a temperature difference. When you say temperature difference, it means that these objects can be hotter or colder. Let's go to the second set of pictures. What do you think is the word which is consist of six letters? You got it right. The answer is energy. Remember that the correct term to describe the energy contained in an object due to movement of particles is thermal energy. This means that an object has thermal energy in it, but when it tries to transfer this energy to another object, that energy being transferred is what you call heat. So let's explore the concept by conducting a science investigation on the given scenario. If there are three identical containers with equal amount of cold water, and you pour the same amount of hot water to container one, top water to container two, and cold water to container three, which container do you think feels the hottest? Which one is the coolest? You may pause the video for you to conduct your own science investigation. You may also ask help from an adult to guide you in doing the experiment. Do it now. I hope you did well in your experiment. Let us process it. Based on your investigation, answer the given essential question. What is the relationship between the change in temperature of water and the amount of heat it can transfer? You may pause the video and write your answer in a clean sheet of paper. We are going to discuss your answer later. You may submit your answers as a private message in our Google Classroom or a personal message in the Messenger. So based on your investigation, have you already answered the given essential question? Let us discuss. It was observed that the temperature changes when heat is absorbed or given off by an object. Heat is a form of energy between two objects or places at different temperatures. So heat transfer from an object that is warmer to an object that is cooler. You can see in the given picture that the warmer object is transferring heat to the cooler object. Based on the science investigation we have conducted, we can say that the greater the amount of heat transferred to an object, the greater is the increase in the temperature. Hence, the amount of heat transferred is proportional to the change in temperature. If there is an increase in the amount of heat transferred, then there is also an increase in the change in temperature.
Let's dig deeper. Consider a hot cup of coffee on top of the table. Assume that a cup of coffee has a temperature of 78 degrees Celsius and that surrounding has a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Which do you think will transfer heat? Will it be the cup of coffee or the surrounding? You are right since the cup of coffee is hotter than its surrounding then the cup of coffee will transfer heat to its surrounding. Over time, the cup of coffee will gradually cool down. It can be said that the coffee and the cup are transferring heat to the surrounding. What are the other applications of heat transfer in real life? You may comment down below your answer. Now let us test what you have learned in this lesson. Get a clean sheet of paper and write the letter of the correct answer as we go along in each item. Are you ready? Number one, which term is used to describe the transfer of energy between places or objects due to a temperature difference? A, temperature, B, heat, C, thermal energy, or D, internal energy? Let us have number two. What is the correct direction of heat transfer? A. From an object of higher temperature to an object of lower temperature. B. From an object of lower temperature to an object of higher temperature. C. From any direction depending on that situation. D. Not enough information. And number three. Which term is used to describe the measure of hotness or coldness of an object? A. Heat transfer. B. Heat. C. Temperature. And D. Energy flow. Number four. One morning, James tried to measure the temperature of cold water in a container and recorded a volume of 10 degrees Celsius. In the afternoon of the same day, he tried to measure the temperature of the same water in that container and recorded a volume of 22 degrees Celsius. What causes a change in temperature? Here are your options. A. Heat transfers from James to the water. B. Heat transfers from the surroundings to the water in the container. C. Heat transfers from the cold water to the surroundings. And D. No heat transfer occurred. The weather affected the temperature of the water. And finally, the last item, number five, which of the following will not happen when heat transfer occurs between two objects with different temperature? A, the temperature of the colder object increases. B, the thermal energy of the colder object increases. C, the temperature of the hotter object decreases. And D, the temperature of the colder object remains the same. Are you ready to know the correct answers? Put a check in each item if you got it correct. Now here are the answer keys. Number one, the answer there is letter B. Number two, letter A. C for number three. And for number four, letter B. And finally, Number five, letter D. How many did you get? I hope you passed the test and I hope you learn a lot in this lesson. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please comment down below if you have questions regarding the lesson. Again, I am Miss G and I'll be seeing you again in another learning session in our digital classroom.